Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, for those of you uh, who uh, come from abroad, welcome to Satoshi's special land in Japan. Um, I come to Bitcoin space from silver and gold community with political motivation. 2011, I wrote my first blog post about Bitcoin. As far as I know, I'm, I'm aware I'm the oldest in the Bitcoin community in the world, uh, in Japan. 2012, I tried to run for lower house par parliament election representing uh, Tokyo District 5 uh, under the then called Osaka Revolution Party who was advocating smaller uh, government in Japan. 2013, I met Roger Veer in Tokyo. That time there was like four or five of us and uh, I started showing up at Meetup when it was Bitcoin price was $10. It was starting going up. And uh, at that time, after a few meetups, I proposed to Roger that um, before it was an ad hoc meetup, I proposed to Roger that, you know, hey, Roger, we should do weekly meetup instead of ad hoc meetup. Then uh, because um, it's easier for people to come. But uh, what Roger said, Oh, Ken, you know, we don't have enough interest for Bitcoin, so I have no time to do this. Can you believe Roger Veer refusing to do Meetup just because not enough people interested? <laughs> so, and, the, and he said, Ken, you know, if you want to do it, and go ahead and you organize. So this is how I became co-organizer for Tokyo Bitcoin Meetup back in 2013. Uh, since then, uh, I have hosted over 170 me meetups over three years until 2016. Then I started traveling uh, around the world, uh, visiting Bitcoin communities uh, over 16 months, and uh, I just came back to Japan last month. I've been to Barcelona, Prague, Milan, Paris, Rome, Amsterdam, München, uh, San Francisco, Austin, Bali, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, and for those of you watching live stream, some of you have seen me <laughs> at the local meetup. And uh, that's, uh, that's uh, how I come to Bitcoin. So when I started traveling, this is in Barcelona. You can see that uh, Bitcoin price was uh, $654 back then. I put $40,000 worth of Bitcoin uh, in my little bread wallet at that time. And uh, funny enough that uh, I still have more dollars worth in my bread wallet today after one and a half year traveling around the world. <laughs> then um, I organized, uh, then during my traveling, uh, I used to be handing out a few dollars worth of Bitcoins to uh, my Airbnb hosts and uh, everyone and anyone I meet during my traveling. But since 2000, uh, beginning of 2017, I started realizing the transaction fee getting too high that I was no longer able to give small amounts of Bitcoin to, uh, to new people. Then I realized this, how can Bitcoin grow uh, when I cannot even hand out first Bitcoin to new people? So this is why I realized this transaction fee does matter, uh, and uh, therefore I became the, one of the first advocate for Bitcoin Cash. And uh, at that time, uh, when we were talking about a bigger block, 
Bitmain was supposed to be an evil organization, and Jihan was a, such an evil person. So I put together a private tour uh, to Bitmain uh, with uh, some 20 industrial uh, uh, industry member friends. And just to take a look at, uh, you know, meet uh, Jihan and Bitmain and see, you know, what they are like. So this was uh, uh, our tour to Bitmain. And, uh, and, co uh, and, and this Bitmain is supposed, uh, is, is uh, one of our main sponsor, sp sponsors today, and uh, they must be something very good today. <laughs> so I talk about uh, status of Japan. We today have about crypto account holders approximately at two million, uh, two million. So this represents about roughly about two percent of the population, which is uh, highest uh, penetration in the world. And we have 16 licensed crypto exchanges, and some backed by large company and customer coming from FX, FX trading. The, the reason why um, uh, FX trading, the, it, we have such a large uh, number of FX traders is that we have this 30 year long crazy super low interest policy in Japan. Therefore, uh, our savers, even if you have uh, $1 million in your bank account, you can only get like uh, ten, less than ten dollars uh, for your interest uh, because of uh, because of uh, this super interest uh, low policy, low interest policy, and um, everybody, including grandpa and grandma, uh, looking for a place to to for for to earn uh, interest. Therefore, we ended up having almost two, two million FX traders' uh, uh, accounts in Japan, and uh, they are massively coming into crypto uh, trading space. And Bitcoin Cash grassroots community is very, very new, and uh, without payments processor support today, uh, the individual owners has to receive uh, Bitcoin Cash in their personal wallet, uh, and they have to manually convert from Bitcoin Cash to uh, fiat if they want. Uh, therefore, uh, my passion is to uh, uh, push more individual shops so that some of the large exchanges can start supporting uh, merchant app for Bitcoin Cash. So this is uh, last night last night news at 11 p.m. and uh, we have I th some 500 uh, 5 million eyeballs has uh, watched the last night last night news. Mm. <laughs> so, I, I, I think we are moving into the new phase. Uh, we are no longer a group of geeks. Uh, we are going into mainstream. Uh, this is what Bitcoin Cash wants to be. And uh, for mainstream users to, to adapt, I propose uh, Bitcoin unlimited improvement proposal, utilization of cash denomination. This is to replace uh, uh, bits denomination used in, currently used in B, BTC. So in this example, uh, this is uh, one millionth of BCH to be called as cash, uh, which is equal to 100 Satoshi. 
the background is Bitcoin Cash strives for worldwide adoption, and it must be easy to calculate for everyone for daily transactions, including grandpa and grandma, and needs to be differentiated from BTC. Why is it so important? Because BTC bit is the same pronunciation as bit in French. I'm not sure if some French speakers here, uh, which is same meaning as P. <laughs> I would not say this. Uh, maybe you can Google later. <laughs> and. Um, Starbucks coffee today is one uh, uh, is based on one Bitcoin cash being one thousand dollars. Starbucks coffee is going to be zero point zero 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 three BCH. So this is not easy for mainstream users. But using cash denomination, it's going to be three thousand cash, which is something. Uh, people maybe could be uh, com comfortable with. When BCH goes 1,000 fold in five years, right? We always talk about Bitcoin being $1 million, right? So it's going to be uh, $3 and it's going to be three cash. For latte. Therefore, we don't practically need another denomination. And governments going cashless society, it seems government do not like us to use cash. I mean, they don't like to use the word cash. And they are phasing out cash and they are it has now become the small part of the money supply. And Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin as electronic cash system, so which really makes sense. And it's already happening. And this BIP was uh, co-written with John Art lead developer for Electron Cash, which is a Bitcoin Cash wallet. And Hand Cash, this is a NFC enabled Bitcoin Cash only wallet they have already implemented. This is a quote by Ryan X. Charles, an unknown author. I regard Bitcoin Cash as an opportunity to rebrand Bitcoin for the better. When it achieves global adoption, it won't be called Bitcoin. It will be just called cash. So wait, there's one more thing. One million dollars in five years is not only me saying this. I will play this clip, uh, Tim, Mr. Tim Draper, on March 7th. And uh, Tim Draper and Draper Associates bought 30,000 Bitcoins back in 2014 at a price of $633. He is uh, one of the legends in Silicon Valley. I pray this. <laughs> so make another prediction for us, Tim, because you correctly called Bitcoin 10,000 to the day, practically. What's your next call? OK, so, so <laughs> I'm holding off on that because April 12th, we're having a big uh, party. And I'm going to make the announcement April there. April 12th. And you are 12th. all invited. Oh, all right. you. Go ahead. Come. <laughs> uh, 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 and I'm going to make an announcement then of what, uh, what my prediction is. Um, one of my predictions is that in five years, you're going to walk in and try to pay fiat for, uh, for a Starbucks coffee. And, and they are in the 
embarrassed uh, is going to laugh at you because they're going to say, "What is this? You know, are you counting out pennies or you know, give him, give me shells?" So it's no gonna more be like, U.S. No dollars being used. They're not going to use fiat. Five years from now, none of us will because all the en engineering effort, all that excitement is focused really on Bitcoin and all of the all of the uh, cryptos around it, and I think that's what we're all going to be using and paying with. Um, did you hear this? In five years' time, nobody will be using fiat. They will be using Bitcoin. And if you try to use fiat, they will laugh at you. And uh, whether he means Bitcoin for BTC or Bitcoin Cash, you decide. And uh, if Mr. Tim Draper wa uh, watching this uh, live, uh, he said it April 12th, uh, anybody is invited. I hope I get to, to visit him in Silicon Valley. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. And now we want to check in for any questions from the audience. Uh, do we have any awesome questions for Ken this morning? Yeah, hi. Uh, thank you for the awesome presentation. I just want to know, like, what tools can we build to, to help, um, uh, you know, cash, uh, Bitcoin Cash be accepted? What, what tools does the community need? What tools does the business need? What can we do? What, uh, what can we develop to, to, to help um, with adoption here? One idea, um, I think, I still think the uh, mainstream user, for, for them to understand, um, physical merchant for, for them to be able to spend uh, some Bitcoin Cash at physical merchants has the highest power. So we would uh, need to have more shops accepting Maybe one idea is to all of us to uh, protest in front of uh, Bitflyer <laughs> or one of the exchanges so that they will pay attention. Are there like any specific tools like points of sales that are needed or any new, new wallet developments or any changes to the current wallet? Uh, any any, any software-wise things that we could do? Uh, yeah, for, for wallet, uh, we definitely need to make uh, wallet easier, much more easier, um, and uh, yeah. Thank you. Hey Ken, it's Simon Dixon. Um, firstly, I think that's an incredibly smart proposition you put through, um, and I think it highlights something which I think is important, which is that. Uh, Optimizing for cash and optimizing for savings probably have two different strategies. Um, and this is definitely an optimization for cash. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why I advocate for more harmony between BTC and BCH, because one doesn't have to die for the other to prevail. Um, I'm just wondering what your thoughts are. Can the two coexist? Can one optimize for savings and one optimize for cash? Mm. Um. In, in case of, uh, we talk about digital gold all the time as store of value, but in case of physical gold and silver, because gold is 80 times more expensive, it can be used as store of value, and for smaller transactions, silver is more convenient. But in case of uh, digital currency, when one takes uh, more hash rate and liquidity, I don't know how smaller liquidity, uh, digital currency can survive as a store of value or uh, a daily transaction. Meaning when Bitcoin Cash takes over, it can be used for smaller transactions as well as uh, larger transactions because higher liquidity. So I don't see another currency uh, surviving in that sense. <laughs> Questions for Ken? We have one at the back. Wow. 
Hi, thank you for the presentation. So among all your trips around the world with all the communities on Bitcoin Cash, which country do you think has the biggest acceptance uh, or like normal people, like grandma and papa, like you said? Mm, I, when I started traveling, there were lots of shops uh, still accepting uh, Bitcoin. For example, there was a hackers uh, congress in Prague. Uh, they only accept Bitcoin in their, in their shop. But uh, when the transaction started rising up, then uh, not only the Hackers' Congress, the, the shopping streets in France and uh, shops in Milano, they, nobody was uh, using BTC. And uh, those, uh, some of the merchants, uh, they forget how to use uh, uh, payment terminal and uh, BitPay Bit software. So that's how far it, uh, it went. And, and in Japan, the, today is nobody, not really many people is uh, spending B BTC today. So that's, that's why I'm very, very concerned. Is that it? We got another one. Hi, Ken. Hi, James. Uh, how on earth do you estimate 2 million crypto account holders in Japan? And am I on your list? What's that say? You estimate 2 million crypto account holders in Japan. How right. on earth do you come up with a number like that? Uh, I come, I've come up with uh, all the exchange accounts uh, divided by three. So I'm not on the list. OK, good. <laughs> all right. Please give Ken a round of applause. Thank you so much, Ken. Shishido.